Hello, my name is Anatoly. I work as a dealer in Vito Broker. And this, in this video, I want to talk about perpetual futures and why they are interesting to look at. Uh, perpetual future is basically a unique way to structure a derivative contract. A derivative contract is basically a contract which is supposed to follow the price of the underlying asset in a certain way. Uh, perpetual futures do it in a unique way uh, compared to what uh, was previously introduced uh, in the financial markets. Perpetual futures appeared uh, uh, at the first time on platform BitMEX in 2018 and it's, it is basically an attempt to combine the advantages of trading on spot market and on traditional futures market. On spot market the advantages are that it is very transparent, it is very clear what you do, you are just trading uh, an underlying asset basically, you buy or sell it. But the problems are that, uh, first of all, you are charged high commissions on spot. And if you want to trade spot with leverage, you can in theory do it. But it, it will, uh, most brokers, most providers will charge you a substantial amount of money for holding the position on spot with leverage. The, the advantages of future contracts are that uh, they offer you lower commissions and they are allow leverage. You, you can trade them on uh, big sizes with small capital. Perpetual future is basically an idea to combine the good stuff from both worlds. Um, how exactly does, do perpetual futures do it? Um, they feature two unique mechanisms, finding rate and mark price. And this is what I want to talk about in more detail. So what is finding rate? Um, finding rate is basically an amount of money which uh, traders on the perpetual futures market uh, are either paid or charged um, every, usually every eight hours. It depends on a specific exchange. Some exchange uh, structure their contracts in a way that funding is uh, charged, I would like to say exchanged every, for example, one hour or, or even one second the so-called dynamic charging. On most exchanges, it is every eight hours. So what happens every eight hours? If uh, at a certain time, at the time funding is supposed to be exchanged, for example, price of perpetual contract trades above spot market. In this case, every holder of a short position in a perpetual contract is paid uh, funding rate by, every, by the holders of long positions. Why is it so? Perpetual contract is supposed to track spot market. This is what basically everyone wants. Everyone wants a derivative contract, which al allows small commissions, trading with leverage, but at the same time, no expiry, and uh, ma ma making sure that this derivative contract tracks, tracks spot market quite well. And it, this mechanism can't be achieved on its own. For example, in traditional futures market, the convergence of future to spot is achieved by a simple fact that future contract has a delivery. If a future contract doesn't converge to spot with time, as it approaches delivery, it provides an opportunity for arbitrage players to basically take two legs, for example, short, for example, buy future, hedge it on spot, or vice versa, and uh, potentially, which potentially might give them a guaranteed profit. Uh, if you offer a contract, in our case, perpetual futures, which do not have expiry, and at the same time you want it to follow spot market, you have to come up with something clever in order to achieve it. And so funding rate uh, basically is the key mechanism which allows the perpetual futures to convert to spot. For, so for example, every eight hours, if uh, every holder of a short position um, is paid funding rate when the price of perpetual trades above the spot, he is basically awarded for the fact that this trader takes a position on the market which pushes the price of perpetual closer to spot. Because I guess you would agree that if we sell a contract, we drive its price down. Vice versa, if, for example, a perpetual contract trades below spot, uh, holders of long positions are paid by shorts. 
because in this case there are the good guys there are the guys who push the price of perpetual up like closer to spot market funding rates actually provide a rather substantial um, financial motivation for people to engage into making perpetual contracts more efficient. For example, last year, if somebody held a position in a, perpetual co in a, in a short position in a perpetual contract, uh, he would earn on average uh, two basis points every eight hours. You can do the math and see that uh, it, with time, the financial basic reward for uh, making perpetual contracts more efficient gets quite substantial. Uh, so what is a mark price? Mark price is, is basically a unique mechanism of how exchange accounts for marginal requirements of traders. In a traditional market, for example, traditional futures markets, with, which have expiry, the price of the future is the basis to tell, uh, to, to, tell to make a decision on what is the margin what is the current margin of a user and whether he should be liquidated or not. In perpetual futures, basically what exchange says is that unless the price of, uh, so for, for as long as the price of perpetual trades close to spot market, the actual price of, of the perpetual is used to define marginal, uh, margin of users to calculate their unrealized profit or loss. If the price of perpetual, for some reason, for, for example, if there is a flash crash on this market, goes way far, far away from spot market, the exchange starts to use spot market as the basis to decide whether user should be liquidated or not. This mechanism basically ensures, not 100%, but at least gives uh, people uh, a feeling of <laughs> safety, I would say, uh, making them basically helping the exchange to avoid unnecessary liquidations and uh, giving people just an idea that they will be liquidated only if uh, the actual market of crypto moves against them and not because there is some exchange outage for example or flash crash which results in a uh, very like uh, low liquidity in, in a specific perpetual contract which uh, results in a spike in price and uh, users get liquidated basically for nothing. So can it be said that the mechanism of perpetual features is strictly better than everything else? Probably not. Um, or the actual idea of giving people a contract which would track spot but at the same time allow leverage is not new. For a long time, uh, there have been so-called CFDs, uh, contracts of difference, on various markets, including crypto. But the contract of difference is basically, essentially, it is spot market with uh, borrowed money. Basically, the price of CFD is just price of spot, but uh, in, for an ability to trade with leverage, you actually pay a quite substantial sum of money. In some rare cases, the so-called swap rates, basically what uh, holders of CFD are charged, uh, can be positive for a trader, but most of the time it is negative. So in case of traditional CFD contracts, um, traders 99% have to pay the, the swap rate. In case of perpetual futures, funding rate mechanism basically actually can you can be rewarded passively this time for holding a perpetual future for as long as you are among the people who help the price of perpetual converge to spot so nevertheless both cfd constructs and perpetual futures are quite liquid uh, perpetual futures are at the moment uh, the most favored and the most demanded uh, derivative contract on crypto. And uh, who knows, maybe in future, the mechanism which was introduced in perpetual futures will be applied to more traditional markets like FX, which is unlikely, but I guess it is still a possibility. b Broker intends to add perpetual futures into our liquidity pool to basically allow, trader, uh, allow people to trade both traditional CFDs and perpetuals depending on what they see better. 
So this is basically what I wanted to discuss in this, in this uh, video. I think that patch features are very interesting to look from the perspective of how these constructs achieve the goal of creating a derivative which tracks spot market and sort of combines the advantages of both futures trading and spot, market and, and spot trading. Thank you for your attention and have a nice day.